Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. I moseyed on over to Joanne this weekend. Um, they had a little sale for Simplicity and for Butterick. Um, so I w thought I would do a little haul today on the patterns I got as well as a few fabrics that I picked up because they're getting a lot of new stuff in for spring and it's really cute. Um, okay, so I wanted to start with the patterns first. The first one is, I was kind of inspired to look for some new tops. Um, I feel like that might be an area where I'm lacking in my wardrobe is cute wearable tops. Um, so I grabbed a couple of patterns. Um, this is Butterick 6416. Um, and I was particularly inspired by views B and A, although the other ones are really cute too, but I just love the sort of, um, I guess the dolman sleeve, there's not an actual set in sleeve. Um, I loved the shoulder seaming, so you could get some good shaping there. Um, and I really liked this detail of having like a yoke or like a placket where you could do some contrasting if you got some striped fabric, stay tuned for that. So yeah, I just thought Butterick 6416 was really cute. It's obviously gonna sew up super quick. Um, so it should be an easy go-to. I think A is probably gonna be my first, my first um, one that I make with the short cuff sleeves and the tunic, like the, I might not make it that long. I don't know that I love tunics. I might um, crop it up to like a regular shirt length. But yeah, super cute. Um, the next one I got is Butterick 6417. And I mean, how cute is this version here? What number letter is that? D. I'm obsessed with D. I think that is just so cute and very just wearable. Um, really inspired by the fabric that they put on the illustration. Um, the whole thing is really cute. But I also love this version here with the long sleeves and the like little fold over, I don't know, collar band. Um, I think that that is adorable too. I'm not so certain about um, this contrast. I, I just might not like contrast or maybe not strong contrast. But again, like if you had a stripe, you could definitely play off of that and how cute is she so I really feel like I could make a bunch of these and they kind of would all look different depending on which fabric you used so I am loving 6417 fun fact about me 17 is my lucky number so I kind of felt like this one was speaking to me in that way as well um so yeah this one's gonna be really cute linen of course cotton cotton blends chalet I don't know about chalet but um definitely those more uh, lightweight wovens um, to make this one out of. Um, next I got, oh wait, that's the one I already did. The next I got, and this is simply because, oh gosh, I was watching a movie or maybe it was a TV commercial or something and I swear I saw version D with that ruffle around the neckline like that. I cannot remember where it was or anything else about it, but it was super cute. And the um, fabric was out of like a really light, lightweight drapey fabric, like a chalet. So it didn't stick out as much as these are. It was a little bit more drapey than that, um, but so cute. So this is Butterick 6518. A lot of adorable versions, but of course, I, I'm in love with D. Um, I also think that the sleeves on B are kind of interesting. The one that the model is wearing, they're kind of like a bubble hem. Not certain how, I mean, look at view B. That might be a cuter way to see it. I don't know if that is comfortable, <laughs> um, but it is really cute. So maybe I will give that a try one day when I'm feeling extra adventurous. Um, still not into the bell sleeve. They just seem like they would get everywhere. Like every time you raise your arm, it's like in your food and everything. Um, I think D is okay because they're shorter. Um, but I'm not so sure about C with the full on, 
the full on bell sleeve. So we'll have to see about that one. But still a lot of cute options here and I can't resist a ruffle. I just can't. And just in case you're wondering, the ruffle does go all around in the back too. Super cute. All right, and then the last pattern that I got is for, I'll talk about this more, I guess, in my plans video, but um, so my style this month is the Tilly and the Buttons Marigold Jumpsuit, and I just don't feel like a pencil peg leg jumpsuit is going to be flattering on me. Um, it's just a lot of hip, a lot of attention on the hip. So I said, well... I'm still sticking with so my style, and as I've told you guys before, I'm not following it exactly, but I am trying to stay true to like the concept of the patterns that are chosen. So I picked a jumpsuit pattern, um, and I cannot wait to make it. So excited, Butterick 6522. Um, and I mean, I mean, right? I love the culotte. I love the cropped length. I love the sleeveless. I love the tie. Again, I'm not so sure about the contrast there, but I mean, look at it in the stripe. So cute. Can you imagine that in a culotte? So this is probably what I am going to be making for So My Style for April. Butterick 6522. I just think these girls look so hot. Um, and I do want to try one in long sleeves. It does feel like a lot of fabric. Like, you're all covered up. You know what I mean? But I think that would be really cute for fall. And you put a little jacket over it. And I don't know. It just feels like it could be really, really cute. Um, they do have a couple of sleeve variations. And... You can barely, barely tell, but this chick here, her sleeves are sheer and everything else is lined. Um, you wouldn't know that unless you could see the back like I can. Um, I couldn't tell actually till I saw that. But she, there's a wider sleeve and then there's also like a um, gathered elasticized sleeve. So some cute options there. But yeah, A is going to be for So My Style in April. So that is it. I didn't get any simplicity patterns um, because I feel like when I got my dress for the Royal Wedding Sew Along, I got a, a, some other simplicity patterns around that same time too because I was just perusing the website. Um, and so I didn't feel like there was anything new there for me at this time. But um, McCall's, I believe, just did their spring collection and I can't wait for those to go on sale. Okay, so about fabrics, I'm so excited. Okay, so let's start with the stripes. First off, I have this one. I mean, come on, it is so nice. It's 100% cotton, but honestly, it has the hand feel of a rayon. It's just very, very soft, like almost silky in a way. It is super lightweight, super drapey. Here, I'll unfold it for you. Um, and I just love a variegated stripe so much, like a lot. Um, so this will either become one of those tops, um, It'll definitely become one of those tops. Um, so I am really excited about that. Super cute. And I'm going to try and link to these in the description box. I'm not 100% sure Sunny is like having a field day just off camera here. Digging all in the carpet. <laughs> um, so I'm going to try and link to them. They don't always have them on their website. But if they do, I will put a link to it. Um, if not, I can leave the like little item number. And you can bring that to your store and give that to the clerk and say, do y'all have this? Um, and they might be able to help you out. But that is so cute. I think it's gonna make an adorable top, one of those that I showed you before. Um, here's an, I know I was like, kind of hemming and hawing about getting two blues and white stripes, <laughs> but I couldn't resist this one. Um, again, it's 100% cotton. Um, both of these were in their shirting section. Um, they do have a lot of really cute shirtings. Who is it? Um, Emily Hallman got the gingham. So cute. It's like a pinky coral gingham. You'll have to go to her Instagram feed to see that. But I was, it was hard to resist that one. The only reason I did is because it was 45 inches. But when you're making a top, 
The difference in fabric requirements for a 45 versus a 60 inch wide fabric is not that much. Maybe half a yard. I think one of those tops it was even only a quarter of a yard. So one of these is 45 but I just couldn't justify getting two of them at this moment. Um, I didn't have a pattern picked out for the gingham so on and so forth. I'm just rambling. Anyways, back to the fabric. So this is a uh, blue, almost chambray color and white, like pinstripe shirting. And what I loved about it is that the stripes run vertically. And I don't know if that is rare, but I feel like lately all of the stripes I've been buying, do those run vertically too? I guess, no, yes, those run vertically too. So maybe it isn't that rare. I think I was just having a moment in the store and I was like, oh my God, vertical stripes um, without really thinking it through. But anyways, I really like it. Um, again, it's going to be one of those shirts. It's going to be super lightweight, super comfortable. It's going to be awesome. Okay, last up for today's haul is this amazing linen rayon blend. Linen rayon, yep. I want to say it had... 60% linen, 40% rayon, maybe 30% rayon in this amazing pink floral. The background is like baby pink and then it has these orange and reds and greens that make and this light blue mixed in um, that make up these flowers. And I did a little test because I, when you first pick this up, you're like, geez, this is heavy. And it also felt really stiff. So I cut away little test swatches. Um, this is what it's like in the store. And you can see there's like hardly any drape there at all. Um, and it just has this like, you can just tell it has that stabilizer on it. So I was curious to see how much it would lighten up. Some of the linens that I get at Joann's are unrecognizable after you wash them. Um, and when I normally buy them for a jacket, they end up not being the right weight for a jacket. So I end up making a dress out of them, et cetera, et cetera. So I was curious to see what was gonna happen with this one. I mean, I loved it anyways. I didn't really care what happened to it, but this is what happened. So you can see still not super drapey, but a little bit more drapey. This is the washed one and this is the unwashed one. And you can kind of see, I want to put the pinks next to each other. How do I do that? Um, like that. Nothing really happened with the color, but the feel is like night and day. This one it's mostly on the back side and I wish I had like one of those really high def cameras but you can see the you can literally see with the naked eye that the back like uh I don't know it didn't pill but it's you can just see that it's softer and it has like a little bit of fuzz on it <laughs> which to me is a good thing because that makes it really soft and um just really nice on the skin on the right side though that didn't happen at all it's only on the back side um whereas with this one there's like no texture going on at all and it's just very stiff um so this is slightly better so um i am still going to make a dress with it but the type of dress i'm going to make is different i think i was planning like a gathered skirt and i don't like to gather like super stiff fabrics um so i'll either do a pleated skirt with this i almost almost ended up changing my mind last minute from the lemons um for the royal wedding sew along view c and d to this but i decided not to in the end but i think it would be really cute pleats or even a shift dress i don't typically love shift dresses but i'm um, in a fabric like this i think it would be really great so we'll see I'll, i just gotta decide how much i want to break up all of the flowers but like i said i grabbed all these fabrics at joanne over the weekend they are new they are just now rolling in so your joanne should have plenty of stock um so if you liked any of them check the description box i'll have either a link or the little item number for you to get and um you can go get it for yourself so i hope you liked this haul video um i will try and do these more often um i do shop um kind of a lot um but I'm usually too eager to get into my fabric to take the time to do a haul video, but um, if you guys like them, I will keep doing them and you'll be able to see more of what I'm buying. 
no judgment though, right? Judgment-free zone over here. <laughs> but anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you liked it. I will see you next time. Bye!